Hello, golf friends. Thank you for tuning in to Tour Swing Tuesday. This is Gary Bates from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. So today I want to talk about the process of making swing changes. Very important. And up here I have Steve Stricker, who did this very thing back in 2004. He lost his tour card and he had to make some significant changes. It's a very dicey uh, prospect. And I want to talk about that a little bit here in a swing and then at the end of the video. Okay. So beautiful setup right here with Steve, right? Arms hang down. You can see he's very relaxed. See a portion of that left arm. That's very good. Some knee flex. Excellent, right? Hands nice and low. Nice. That helps your hand. So taking it back into motion right here. You're going to see how he has this sort of little trigger right there, a little movement. That's just fine. You know, that helps him kind of get the club away. And he gets the club away very wide. Club kind of on his hand line, right? That's very nice. Nice position there. Kind of standard, I would say, maybe 1230 in terms of the face. A lot of variation, as I mentioned, among tour players. You have principles and you have pre preferences, right? This is more of a preference. That's what you want to, you know, allow a some leeway for, right? Going back, very wide left arm, overlap grip. But what do you see? His backside pretty much against the line, his head still. Now, here's the change that he made. He used to have quite a bit of drop with his swing, right? So he'd get to the top about in this area, and he'd drop the club, get to parallel, even beyond. And he, he felt that that was too inconsistent. So what he did was he shortened his swing and actually limited his wrist hinge. Now, this will cost you some distance, but it'll gain accuracy. So you have to figure out who you are, right? I mean, Phil Mickelson and Tiger, I don't think, could play this way. But Steve plays a very controlled game right? Tremendous wedge player and 54 years old, the guy's playing as good as ever. So that's the change he made. If you make a change, make sure it's simple and something that you can do. A lot of casualties from making too many swing changes. Okay. Starting down right here, very beautiful transition. He's never hurried in his golf swing, right? And there's that familiar position, right? That club bisecting the upper arm. So he's flattening the club head. Beautiful, right? And you just see this over and over, right? I mean, club head on the shaft line plane, original shaft line plane, right? Very nice. And backside against that line. So no thrust forward, no coming out of his spine angle, right? We love that. Into impact. This is just fabulous, right? Shaft pretty much realigning at impact, head in position, hips rotating out of the way. I mean, just wonderfully controlled motion here, right? Into the follow-through, beautiful divot. You have to hit that ball divot with your irons. I work on that so much with my students. It's very, very important. I have some drills I can help you with to get that down. Okay, into the follow-through, very good extension. Again, that toe-up position, right? So your golf swing pretty much goes toe-up, toe-up. And some face rotation over. So, you know, getting the club face to close a little bit. And then into a nice, beautiful high finish here with Steve, a la little Ben Hogan right here. Club kind of parallel to the ground, but very beautiful motion. Played well now ever since he made these swing changes. Okay, now I want to talk about a few things that you need to do, that I need to do when we make swing changes. This is very, very important. First of all, keep it simple. More than two changes is too many. Now, you can think of a couple of things in your setup, right? But once you get in a motion, maybe a backswing thought, a downswing. Anything else is too much. Um, if you walk out of a lesson, you're like, huh? That's too much information, okay? Number two, stick to a teacher. Find a local PGA professional where you are and stick with them, okay? The only thing more confusing than getting a bunch of economists in a room is getting a lot of teaching pros in a room. LOL, sort of. Hey, I'm one of them. There's a lot of different philosophies. Find somebody, stick to them. Find someone you believe in and believes in you. Okay, finally, get in your reps, like lots of reps, like hundreds and thousands of reps when you make changes, right? Especially grip changes. If you, if you go from stronger to weaker, a lot of reps. I mean, I'll just say this. I got a new phone last week. I used to hit the bottom button in the middle, and that would show my screen. Now I have to, like, double tap it and, and different things on my phone. I'm going to need therapy for a week to figure it out, okay? So... That's an example of getting your reps in. Okay, hope that helps you. Any more information, Gary Bates Golf Academy over on Facebook. Of course, if you're on YouTube, love for you to subscribe. You can hit that subscribe button. It's my logo right there on the screen. If you're on your computer, there's another video next to it. I think that'll help you a lot. Of course, we love when you come out to the Jersey Devil Golf Center in Hamilton. We've got so many great programs for you. Hey, how about build your own golf school? That's one we're doing right now. So God bless you. Thanks for being with us. Hope this helps you. And we'll see you next time on Tour Swing Tuesday. Bye for now.